Right, perimeter is really easy when you have all the sides to add up. I mean, all you have to do is go around the outside, add up all the numbers, and that's your perimeter. Uh, for something like this, though, where we have um, some clear labeled sides that we do not know what they are, we have to figure out what, the, because we can't just add 10, 5, 3, and 4 and call that the perimeter. It's not all the way around the outside. We need to know what this question mark is and what this question mark is. I'm actually going to change this just so we know they're different uh, to A and B. Okay. There's a really easy way to do this that we'll talk about here. Okay. Now, this drawing is not really drawn to scale, so you can't just guess that, well, this is about the same as this. We can't play a guessing game with this. We have to figure out what they are by looking at the other numbers around it. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start with A. So we know that A is from here to here. So we just need some of the sides that total up to that same distance on this picture. So if you think about it, this side and this side, if you put those together, or let's say I move this over here, like I'll put a little dotted line here, if that's 5, this is going to be 5. So now we just have to figure out how long that line is going to be. Uh, we can just correspond it with this line right here. This much of it is 3 this much as if it is 5, so altogether this line has to be 8. Okay. We just look for lines that are going in the same direction as what we're looking for. Okay, So we know that's going to be 8. So I'll erase this here. Now we need to figure out for B. We need something that's going the same direction as B, uh, side to side here. Okay, um, I have this, well, let me get rid of this too just so you don't get confused here. I have this 10 right here, it's going the same direction as this. Uh, I've got B itself, and I've got another one that's going the same direction in 4. Okay. Now if you really look at this, I'm going to bring this 4 down here because this should be the same length. I'll just say that's 4 right there because that's 4. Okay. And then we have B. This distance across this whole thing should be 10, and we already have that label. Now, here we already have 4, so we need to figure out basically uh, 4 plus B needs to equal this 10 right here. Okay, And of course, 4 plus 6 would be 10, so I know that this side is going to be 6. Now we've got every single thing that we need here. Now we just have to add up the outsides or add up the perimeter. Uh, so 10 and 5 would be 15. And then we'd have 6 would be 21, 24, 28, and 28 plus 8 is going to be 36. So this would have a perimeter of 36. Just keep in mind, um, you need to have uh, lines that are going the same direction as your missing ones. So this one was missing, so we had to find all the up and down lines that we could to total this, which would be the 3 and the 5 is the same length as what this was, 3 plus 5 is 8. Going this way, uh, we didn't know what this side was, but we knew that whatever this length is and whatever this length is had to equal the whole thing going side to side. So 4 plus 6 was 10. All right, this one is a little crooked. That's okay. We'll, it'll work. Um, the perimeter is the distance around the outside. Now, if you look at it, we don't have all the sides. We're missing this side and we're missing this side. We need to figure out what they are. So let's start with A. Uh, we know that A is from here to here. So I'm just going to put A right here. We know it's from there to there. And we know that from here to here is 7. So we have A up to this point and 7 up to this point. Now, if I look over here, this whole part is 11. And 11 is the same as whatever this is all together. Uh, so we know that this has to equal 11 because this is 11. So now we have 7 and we have A and we need to make it equal to 11. So 7 plus 4 is 11, so this needs to be 4. So I'm going to get rid of this A and I'm going to put 4 right there. 7 plus 4 is the same as 11. Okay, so that's that one.
Now we need to figure out what B is going to be, okay? For B, uh, going in the same direction as B, uh, we have B right here, going from here to here. From here to here, we know it is 6 in length, okay? So I'll put a 6 right here. All together, we know from here to here has to be 12, okay? So 6 and something equals the whole length of the bottom of 12. So, of course, you know that 6 plus 6 is 12, uh, so a 6 would have to go in here. So B would be 6. Now all we need to do is total up your amounts, okay? Uh, so 4 and a 6 is going to make a 10, 17, uh, 23, uh, 33 plus the 1 would be 34, 44, and then plus the 2 would be 46. So our perimeter of this shape with the missing sides is going to be 46. All right, next example for you, and make sure you remember this is not drawn to any type of scale, uh, so we have to use the numbers they give us. The perimeter here is going to be everything added together, but we have a B and we have an A. We don't know what those things are, so we need to figure them out. So let's start with A. Okay, A is going to be the same as right here, so I'll just put an A right there. Uh, and the rest of this up and down line is worth 6. Uh, so we have A up to this point, and we have 6 right here. Now if we find another up and down line we can use that represents the whole side of it, it's this 9 right here. So from here to here, it's 9 in length. So it makes sense that if this whole thing is 9, this thing has to equal 9 also. So we need to figure out what do I put there for this whole thing to equal 9. Well, 6 plus 3 is going to be 9. Uh, so I'm going to make A equal 3. Okay. Now we just read one more. We just need to know what B is going to be. Okay. Um, I know that from here to here is B. So I'll just come up here and put it up here because it's easier if you move it with the other thing that's going side to side. So I'll just put B here. From here to here it's 5. Now we know that the entire thing that goes left and right is from here to here which is already represented as 8. So I need to know what this is going to be. Um, B plus 5 should equal up to 8. Uh, so our missing number of course here is going to be 3 because 3 and 5 is 8. So I'm going to replace B with a 3. Now we need to know is, or now all we have to do is count up all our numbers, uh, add them up and see what the distance around the outside of this shape is. So I've got 3 and 9 would make a 12, a 12 and an 8 would make a 20, 23, uh, 23 and 5 would be 28, and then going down here would be 34. So we would have a total perimeter on this shape of 34. 